So I got my uh, miner's manicure today. The only problem is it's a little, it's a little uneven. I need to go back and do some more work on these two. But yes, no need to cut my nails after a good session scrabbling in the gravel. Well, g'day, welcome to Mad Siders Prospecting. Welcome especially to the 30 something new subscribers that have joined us, joined the crowd overnight. But I'll get back to that later, right now. Let's get down to the gravel bar and I'll show you how I got my miner's manicure. Right, well, let's have a look. First thing is that, oh, that clipping, that's terrible. Look, I've got some new gear that I'm working with, new software program that does the recording on my phone, and yeah, I've got to fiddle with the audio gain levels, so I'll get better, I promise. What are you doing? What? These, these riffles are clearing a lot better than the last lot, so I think the combination of increasing the angle and uh, dropping the height of the riffle bars was a good move. Um, totally can't see any gold there because it's just full of all sorts of stuff, but that's that's the aim. This is this is where chunky gold's meant to get caught. And you know, and a reason and most of the finer, well what most people would call fine gold. Uh, I've got to check this pan. Now when you when you are checking tailings, there's been studies done on how easily fine gold or even relatively large gold will settle through tailings with just a minimal amount of flow. So unless you're putting something underneath and then panning it all off, you can't just sort of dig into a tailings pile and expect that to be a good test. You've really got to catch it and, and then test it. So I'm going to do that in a little bit. These fine ones here are looking good. The screen's working well. So if there was, you know, super flower gold, we'd get it in there. So the options we discussed in the last video was continuing to dig into the side there to get behind where that big rock used to be, which was just there, because there were some reasonable results there. The other thing was to just bugger it and dig all this out in between that hole and that hole, because I've already cleared off the top overburden. The other option was uh, really digging down here and here and the fourth option was to extend the trench that way because rather than being a localized pay streak what it might be is a very narrow pay streak which just happens to go across that rock because that's where the pay streak is and the big rock is there because it was thrown there because that's where the pay streak is that's where the the confluence of the flows comes from and that's where the heavies are being dumped now of of those options um, I'm still not sure which to do. All these decisions, it's hard work making decisions. That's, what, that's meant to be your job, but no one really gave me the definitive answer. <sighs> You're letting me down. You know, you really need to pull your finger out with these things. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta jump on board one of the options and overwhelmingly say, this is the one you need to do. Otherwise, I, I, I spend time sin, sitting here by the trench thinking instead of digging. I'll just leave it out that big rock. It's got some very interesting veins in it. So we'll have a, have a look at that later. Um, but because it's undisturbed, I'm now pulling uh, the material from just where that rock was. So we can get an accurate sample. Oh, that looks like some really good material. This clay is really hard to deal with, so 
what I'm going to do, what I've been doing, I'm not sure if you've noticed, I'm putting all my lumps of clay in that bucket over there and I'll process them at home with uh, the paint stirrer and the cordless drill. Well, it seems that you've got to get right onto that clay in order to get it off to the side. So there's a, there's a bit of lead and that's a, I think that's a clear dot you'll be able to see. That's actually a reasonably large speck and it's quite red. Whereas this, this gold here is a bit yellow, but that's actually quite red, like that specimen we got. So when I was digging down, I was getting good gold on the way down behind the big rock. But it's on the far side, I'm only getting gold when I go right to the bottom. I'm actually in contact with the clay. Well, I've just dug underneath that rock. And this is what I got. Four shotgun pellets and a flake of lead. But would you believe no gold? <laughs> what's, go what's going on here? Well, I think what's going on is we have a really, really narrow pay streak and it's 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 only you know this wide plan 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 this this thinking stuff is hard work it seems that the best gamble is to assume that there is a pay streak more or less associated with that big rock whether it's because it's associated with that big rock because the big rock has caused the pay streak or whether the big rock is sitting there because it's sitting in the pay streak because that's where it got dumped out. But I think that's the best bet. So it's the next morning and I must admit I've gone for a bit of a, a dig in there to see if I could find any visible bits. I think I see some beautiful gold. Wow, that's a big chunk of lead. Look at all those shotgun pellets there. Now I saw some really lovely pieces as I was getting this out of the sluice. At least one shotgun pellet size nuggy picker. Hey, beautiful. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, uh, this is the high banker concentrate. Oh, the concentrate from the, the whole lot? from the top box from the last run. Oh, okay, so it's not the whole lot. No, no, it's not the whole lot. No, it's, I'll save that for the for the, la, the the summary video I do at the end. Cool. So, no great big nuggets. You know, big enough to buy a farm. Arlen said that he's <laughs> Big out. enough to buy a farm. Arlen, I wanted that. Oh, look at that. That's a whacking great big chunk of lead. Oh, <laughs> it's coming up already. Wow. Where is it coming up? Look at all that. Oh, look at that. Oh. Wow. Look at all that. Look at. So you're going to go back there this afternoon while you still got the high banker? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's the plan. But you had all this stuff you needed to do. Well, that's one of the things I've got to do. <laughs> <laughs> and where's the priorities? It's, it's, on my, it's very high on the priority list. I've got a couple of eBay things to get posted off, some Japanese tools to get in the mail to people. And then it's going to be down to the uh, the gravel bank. Oh wow, is that a big piece? Oh no. Yep. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I told you there was a shotgun pellet sized piece. What's that? Well done. Oh, there's, a, there's another gritty piece. Well, I think that's the majority of the gold on show there. There's still a few bits of um, oxidized pyrite and <laughs> lots and lots of lead. But look at that little picker there. That's, it's not, the, it's not bigger than the biggest shotgun pellet, but it's bigger than some of the shotgun pellets. And it's got a whole lot of baby brothers and sisters. Little gritty pieces. Now those, in the camera, you can see that those, um, you can see that line of color. And because it, well, camera, it's being two dimensional, they just kind of look like specks. But, they're actually gritty. Like I've picked that one up and you can see it's got, it's not flat, it's, it's chunky and it's spiky. And so all this gold, or the, at least the majority of this gold 
has come hasn't been churned around in the river very much at all but look at this beauty does that mean you have an idea of where it might be coming from can't really talk about that cool. at this point in time i will be talking about it in later videos and in later videos i'll be telling you guys all where this spot actually is after we've cleaned it out <laughs> <laughs> pretty much <laughs> pretty much um well not the creek but that, that the gravel bank that i'm working on once i've had enough fun with the gravel bank i'll tell you guys where it is and there'll be heaps more gold in this creek um, but I just think that this gravel bank is one of the best spots, but I'm pretty sure there'll be other great spots, but that, that is a nice run of color. Now we're just going to go back and get some more. I want to do this vid quick video for two reasons. One was to show you the gold, in particular that shotgun pellet sized piece, which I saw earlier, uh, to show it off. And the second reason was to give a really big thank you to gold diggers, metal detectors, uh, up in uh, Brisbane. They did a live stream last night on Facebook and they mentioned me and you know my youtube channel which is really cool um and it's it's always <laughs> it's, it's always cool to be appreciated and i know a lot of you of my long-term subscribers especially you guys who comment regularly appreciate my work but i had been looking at the subscriber count <laughs> and getting a little bit discouraged and wondering what i could do well what i was doing wrong or what i wasn't doing right and so to get that shout out and to get suddenly it looks like 30 new subscribers overnight that's given me a really big burst of encouragement so i really really appreciate that later today i'm going to get back to the gravel bank and carry on i will catch you guys down on the gravel bank really soon and i'm going to do my absolute absolute best to get the video from today's dig out tonight but i like i said my best but no promises catch you guys soon bye bye me? Yes, I'm kind of, yes, new audio thingies, that didn't you? Did you check the stuff this morning? The one that, you know, you weren't sure whether or not I've kind of hit film on? We'll get to that. <laughs> we will get to that. Uh, now go away. Okay. Before I lick your nose. <laughs> get yep. Okay, we're recording now? Yeah. You sure? Red. The thing's red, okay, right. So, uh, <laughs> you've just you've just seen the little discussion where <laughs> where Sarah was questioning whether we'd actually been recording that and I, I just wanted to turn the camera back on <laughs> and state did you notice how much I didn't yell at her this time <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> you know it's gonna be really funny what is if I have really vaguely stuffed up and I hadn't been recording before I can't remember now. <laughs> You're in so much trouble. <laughs> I'm always there. Right.